headed into WORD. I'm doing an experiment because I have to have to fuel these uh, these radio shots because uh, I'm not used to being up this early. So I have fueled up. I have gone to Starbucks. I have my venti latte, and then I have another latte in the burnout mug. That's going to have to sit there and stay hot for a while. We'll see how that works out. But let's go do some radio. here in the palatial intercom studios for WORD. Uh, That's a good word. Palatial. Glacial. Glacial? I said palatial. Oh, palatial. I, I like glacial because it's cold in here. I'm leaving all of this in here, by the way. That's fine. All right. <laughs> Having discussions with I, my man, Ghost Rider. Interrupt. Ghost Rider, Chris. As we, as we attempt to belt out a minor four-hour long radio show. This will be seven hours of radio for me today when I get done. Plus, i got to film. That's not good for me. I'm not going to be able to talk tomorrow. Take the day off. But over here, over here in this, uh, in this area, right over there, that's, that's Lee Rogers. News legend. And right out there, well, that's Mad Max territory. That's Woodruff Road, so... The reason I'm showing you this is I just want to give you a day in the life as I get ready to try to shoot a, or finish a YouTube video today about an AR-15 made by Spikes Tactical. And a new operation center in still a third what a life I do lead. So I did make it. And here is the Spikes Tactical Joker, one of the 125 gray Jokers made. This is the Pipe Hitters Union version with battle-worn finish. Um, a very, very nice, one of the, how far out on a limb do I want to go with this? This is the best AR-15 I've ever shot. Okay. Um, when it comes to uh, balance, trigger, muzzle device does an awful lot. This is called the R2 brake. And that is, uh, that does, uh, as simple as it looks, and I don't know if you can tell it, but it has ports in the top. Let's see if I can get them in the light. Yeah, there you go. Ports in the top. It's got uh, three ports each on the sides. Graduating sizes. I don't know if that's by, if there's some something scientific behind it. Um, this has some of the best range manners I've ever seen in a rifle. To break it down, um, this is a, uh, the, the barrel is chrome lined uh, to M. 249 specs it has a 20,000 round expectancy on the life of the barrel the lower the you know there's a few things it has a nickel boron bolt which makes cleaning a breeze makes op uh, function a breeze it has quick detach points here and here um, the trigger is the CMC two-stage trigger and as a reset, the trigger on this is outrageously short. Some of the nice accoutrements it comes with is a Mission First Tactical Grip, which is fairly ergonomic. It has the Mission First uh, Minimalist Buttstock, which uh, I've run one of these before. I like them. I like them. Then it is fitted with the BS01 1 to 4 stock or 1 to 4 optic by Black Spider. And this optic, I've tried running the, uh, well, like the uh, the Lucid 1 to 6. I like, I, I'm, I'm slowly swinging over to this type of optic simply because it is nice to be able to go magnified if you want to. Um, it comes with the mount. It's a very affordable optic. And at the same time, it is a really, really good optic for what you're paying. So, to that end, you know, I've been shooting it. I'll let you be the judge.
So here we have the Spikes Tactical PHU Joker. Um, it's running the R2 Spikes Tactical Brake. It has the, uh, the very nice Mission First Tactical skeletonized buttstock and grip and the Black Spider Optics 1-4. This, this rifle, this AR-15, this semi-automatic personal defense weapon, to me, um, this is as solid a representation of the platform as I've ever run across. Um, it hits well above its weight. In the price point that it occupies, it is way above what you're paying for it. So, as you can tell by looking at it, there's very little in the shooting impulse. Uh, there's no movement. The optic is staying on target when you're looking down at it. That was when, when you're peering down the optic, when you're looking at the target and trying to trigger a fast burst, because I like to shoot fast, that is amazingly good. So I heartily recommend this. You can find these guys at spikestactical.com. Um, it's well worth the wait. This is quality. This is, this is balance. This is, this is accuracy. This is epitomized in the way it's put together with the M lock rail, which doesn't weigh hardly anything. Even the little touches like I've, I've never run one of these before, but these rubber grip panels, I sort of like a either a vertical grip or maybe even an angle four grip. But with this one, I have no problem, uh, gripping it like this. Now, one thing that I'll t t talk about with this rifle that I noticed was conspicuously absent with every AR 15. And this is why I think that, uh, well, not every one of them, but most of them, with a lot of AR-15s that I have shot, as I can feel the heat impulse coming down the barrel. I can just feel it travel down the barrel. That is not evident here. I've had to shoot some AR-15s with a glove just because of the uh, fireball coming off the end of it. And I don't own a short barrel rifle. I'm always shooting at least a 16 inch, maybe a 14 and a half with a pinned. But um, there's no heat impulse to this. And that is a, for me, with a uh, with the upper, that's the mark of the quality, is the way it handles the heat, because that is what's going to ensure that 20,000 round life is the, 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 the way the barrel and the upper handles the heat. So, spikestactical.com, the Pipe Hitters Union Joker Rifle. Um, they'll still, I, hopefully they'll still make the Joker after the other 124 are gone. I'm, I'm hanging on to mine. This one is mine. There's many like it. Well, there's 124 like it, but this one is mine. I'm out.